children's health. While childhood obesity in America gets the lion's share of the headlines, tonight we're going to look at a movement in the opposite direction, starting with a 10-year-old fitness guru with washboard abs. His name is CJ Center, and his body is amazing. Maybe working out beats playing video games, but is there such a thing as too much? Here's ABC's Choo Choo Chang. Who, other than Justin Bieber, perhaps, could get this kind of rock star welcome from the grade school set? Hi, right, let's give you a big hand! It's a surprise appearance by their pint-sized celebrity trainer. <laughs> just 10 years old, that's right, just 10, CJ has motivated the 450 students at Heard Mixon Elementary School to get on their feet. But today's the first time they've ever met him in person because this Check is how he's trained them. Down, up, jump, zero, repeat. It's hard. It is. CJ Center is the workout kid, a pint-sized fitness guru whose videos promise to make kids everywhere into mini gladiators like him. One, two, three, that's an eight pack. Even though there are very few adults who could ever hope to have a six pack like this. He puts me to shame. How many of these do we have to do? Whenever you get tired. Okay, I'm tired now. He's been on the fitness kick for half his life. He started at age five. CJ's parents say his self-discipline extends to his diet. So do you eat candy? Well, I eat candy, but I don't eat a lot. So a little, little bit, not a lot? Yes. What about junk food? Mm -mm, I like eating fruits and vegetables. Hey, how's my core? CJ isn't the only kid fixated on getting lean and mean. While there's legitimate worry about obesity in American kids, there's also concern now about kids training and dieting like Olympic athletes. In my practice now, I've seen a doubling of injuries to young kids aged 10 or 9 or 8 with overuse injuries because they're doing more now. Dr. Gottlin says a lot of this is due to the hours of practice for organized sports. But maybe it's also because all their heroes now look like CJ. I do it once a day. Once a day? Mm -hmm. Wow, the whole video? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. The last few weeks, I've lost about 10 pounds. 10 pounds? In a few weeks? Uh, I think it was three or four weeks. Were you heavier before, chubbier? Yeah, I was not chubbier. Really? Yeah. That may be wishful thinking, but we were surprised to find so many little kids who were so body conscious. What was it like meeting CJ today, guys? I like those big muscles. Do you want to have muscles like CJ? Do you have muscles like CJ? Almost. Almost? <laughs> nice. Up, down. Every up, doctor we spoke with up, about CJ agrees. Right, what he's doing left, is better than playing left, video games four hours right, a day. Left, but they also say left. whether it's the pressure of Little League or martial arts or just trying right, to get buff, Pee-wee competitors can dangerously overdo it. So as a rule of thumb, sort of how much is too much for a 10-year-old? The guidelines we have are kids or children can work out up to an hour per day, and that means mixing water breaks every 15 or 20 minutes with an activity. For extreme mini-athletes, physical damage can be layered with emotional harm. Richard Sandrick, also known as Little Hercules, was eight years old when he became famous in the 90s for his stunning physique. His appearance prompted claims that his parents were putting on an excessive diet and exercise program and exploiting him. The parents denied all those charges. In this case with CJ, hopefully, this is all the right reasons and we're seeing the positive results. Some people think he's too young to be that ripped or to have that many, mm -hmm. you know, six-pack abs. I would honestly just say that it, it wasn't anything that he set out to do on purpose. Um, just with exercising and really just normal play for a child, he developed the physique. So you're not forcing him to do push-ups? Not at all. CJ did it the old-fashioned way with calisthenics, no weightlifting. I just want to get my message out to uh, kids so they can get on their feet and have fun and learn new exercises. CJ's parents say they've sold or donated several thousand DVDs. They claim they aren't in this for the money. Thank you. You're welcome. So you're in it to teach other kids. Exactly. Because tell me how many you've sold and how many you've given away. We've given away, what would you say? This is about as many as we've sold. <laughs> <laughs> Again. CJ dreams of one day playing in the NFL, but if that doesn't work out, he's already built an impressive body of work. I'm Juju Chang for Nightline in Marietta, Georgia.